What's going on everyone? It's your hobby hound here, Wolf Wolf. I'm gonna do another tools of the trade video. Uh, this is what I use to look at the cards I'm going to grade. Um, I'll put a link in the description uh, if anybody else needs to pick up one. I think it was relatively affordable. Um, let me, by example, show a few different cards. So first, just look at it visually. Do a naked eye. Um, first, like, kind of look over. Obviously, this is one of the blank backs. Um, this is a little bit different, so I'm going to check that. But you can see that someone decided to tape it. Um, let me see if I can get this in here. As you can see, it does a pretty good job of getting close up. Um, you can see all, all the print lines and surface. Let's say that we get to corners. You can see relatively well the softness of the corner there. There's another thing here that I want to make sure that I can see. There is crease, which is very hard to see on the card, but you can see it here, where it has a little bit of white, like a pixel thick crease, but you can see it when you use this. print dot or something got on the plate and the ink didn't get on there uh, correctly. And let's see the final corner here. You can see how soft that is. Another card. So this one has better corners, but it still is a little soft. And I do apologize. If this isn't exactly in focus because um, I have to get the angle right and I can't really see what I'm filming here. Let's see the other one. That one's better. Let me look at the card if there's anything I can notice. Um, that one might show up. Actually, I can. I think I see some kind of pressure crease, or maybe that this was in a binder. Um, sorry, let me get this. But it's right above this line on the card. And it's really hard to see. The only way I could see it is. Um, by kind of twisting the card side to side. Let's check out a football one. This one looks relatively good, um, except for when we get to here. Which, let me get this in focus. Let me get down to that corner there. Sure, if I have this in focus, maybe this is a little bit better. You can see the softness of the corner there. Now, I can see that with um, the naked eye, but um, I want to show this one off because this also has something to do with. I know that not everybody collects football, but this all has, also has something to do with 87 Donruss. You know, it's notorious for chipping in white corners. There were some unscrupulous collectors that back in the day used a Sharpie. And it's, it's definitely hard to tell sometimes because I'm not sure if they always used a Sharpie or sometimes they used like model paint or something. Um, but 
if they used a Sharpie, there's always bleed through. And you can tell um, this one hasn't been, but look how close that gets. And you can see any bleed through, even if it's minor. So this is only a Steve Watson card, so I doubt anybody did that. But that is something that you can tell by getting close up to the card there. Um, I also have, and I, for some reason, cannot find it currently, um, a plastic um, see-through card measure that lets you see how far a card is off. If it's like off um, 80, 20, or 60, 40, or if it's actually dead on at 50, 50. Um, since I cannot find my <laughs> the one I have to show you kind of an example, I'm going to just link it in the description in that way. Um, you can get that. It's the best way for you to have peace of mind of um, what you're going to grade and knowing when it goes to the grader that they use something that's even better than that, which is a, a camera system um, that I, I don't know what the times multiplier is, but it's very close up and it's on a screen and they can tell if there's any issues with it. So um, I know I hear a lot of times, hey, look at this card. Shouldn't it be better than this? Well, you can't visually tell um, unless they have that set up. So. Uh, I'm sure uh, people know that it is, um, as, far, as far as graders go, it can be subjective. Um, you can really get a good idea when you use those tools of what you're going to get um, and do like a point breakdown, which obviously there's 10 points to each thing. Um, there's also some gray area, which I'm not sure how they use that. It, it really depends on the grader. And that's something outside of the 40 point system that they would use for grading the card. Um, I've seen people kind of guess at it, but I don't think I've seen anybody who was in the industry actually say what that secondary um, point system is and or how it affects a card. I just know that if, it, if a card is absolutely perfect, say um, in surface and corners, um, they could get a better grade if they have, say, like 10 out of 10 on any of the other four. And that somehow, somehow factors in. So, it's all an enigma. <laughs> but um, everybody knows that who's graded before. But just wanted to show those off, tools of the trade. Um, and again, I will put in the description uh, a link to, I believe I found them on Amazon. So check it out and also in the comments, let me know what you use and your success or failures, I guess, too. Um, curious to know. All right. So uh, like and subscribe and I will catch you all in the next video. Take care.